Twitter, the only place on the internet where Pulitzer Prize-winning journalists can get into fights with Ukrainian teenagers. Yesterday, Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey told 5,000 of his employees working at home that they should never come back to work. Some Twitter employees will never have to go back to the office if they don't want to. Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey told them yesterday they may work from home forever if they prefer to do that, and their job enables them to do so. The company's 5,000 employees were asked to work from home at the beginning of March to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. Twitter says that the past few months have proven they can make it work. Yeah, that's right. Twitter is telling its employees that even after coronavirus is over, they can continue working from home for as long as they want, which is amazing. And I hope more companies follow suit because there are so many advantages to working from home. First of all, your daily commute is like five seconds. Secondly, your office affair is actually good for your marriage. And third, good luck to them trying to fire you over a Zoom call. So, sorry, what, what did you say, boss? Sorry, I, I, I can't, no, I can't. I'm gonna take some extra vacation days and we'll talk in a few weeks. Okay, bye-bye now. I guess the only problem is working from home makes it much harder to steal your coworkers' lunch. Mmm, nice lasagna, Trevor. <laughs> Next up, Jared Kushner, senior presidential aide and mannequin eating at a fancy restaurant. He had a general election thought that kind of freaked a lot of people out. President Trump's senior advisor and son-in-law, Jared Kushner, one-on-one, -on -one, what he said when asked if the presidential election could be delayed. That interview you saw with the president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, raised eyebrows when Kushner was asked by time if there was a chance the presidential election could be postponed due to the pandemic. President Trump's son-in-law and senior advisor, Jared Kushner, is making news. In an interview with Time Magazine, Kushner said he was not certain the presidential election would happen on November 3rd if there's another outbreak of coronavirus in the fall. Oh my God, Jared Kushner might delay the election? That is not good. Let me tell you something, my friends. An election is like peeing. You gotta do it when you're supposed to do it or your democracy will get a UTI. And honestly, I can't believe that Jared Kushner said this. And the reason I can't believe it is because he didn't actually say this. Yeah, because everyone from news outlets to thousands of people on Twitter are reacting off of the headline. But if you watch the actual interview, this is what Jared Kushner said. Is there any scenario, including a second outbreak in the fall where the elections move past November 3rd? Uh, that's too far in the future to tell. Nothing that I'm aware of now, but uh, again, our focus right now is just on getting well, the country- Will you that the elections will happen on November 3rd? Uh, it's not my decision to make, so I, I'm not sure I can commit one way or the other, but right now that's the plan. Yeah, you see, not only did Jared Kushner not say he's delaying the election, he laughs off the question and says it's not his decision to make. And look, I'm not a fan of Jared Kushner, but I don't think it's helpful for anybody to stir up shit like this at a time like this. I mean, people are out here pretending to be ants. They don't need added stress in their lives, so please, news outlets or whoever's putting these headlines up. Like, let's not gin up controversy where it doesn't need to be. Especially since there's so many real things you can get mad at Jared Kushner for. You know, giving PPE contracts to his buddies, having sleepovers with the Saudi prince, or speaking in a frequency that summons locusts from miles away. And finally, you might've heard that last week, former president Barack Hallelujah Obama called Donald Trump's coronavirus response an absolute chaotic disaster. Well, yesterday, Mitch McConnell, Senate Majority Leader and semi-deflated pool float, decided to clap back. Just a day after former President Obama ripped the Trump administration's response to the COVID-19 outbreak, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell had this sharp criticism of Obama. I think President Obama um, should have kept his mouth shut, but I think it's a little bit classless, frankly, to uh, critique an administration that comes after you. Wow. I knew McConnell had balls because they're all right there in his neck scrotum, but I didn't know they were big enough to call President Obama classless and tell him to keep his mouth shut. And is it just me? Or did he say classless with a hard R? Like, really, Mitch? You think Obama is classless? My man, your favorite president called his own mistress a horse face on Twitter during his presidency. And you know what? Maybe there was a time 
when former presidents would refrain from criticizing current ones. But that was before Trump. It's the same way scrunchies used to be considered tacky, but then coronavirus came along and the old rules, they don't apply anymore.